adding and editing text. In many places in Moodle where you can type in text, you will see Moodle's purpose-built editor known as Atto. We see it here in a topic section summary. Many of the icons you'll know from word processing or other online programs, but some may be unfamiliar. The link icon allows you to link text to an external website or an uploaded file. So for instance, if we select the text BBC Talk French and then click the link, a pop-up appears allowing us to paste in a URL or web address. The text will change colour but note that the link will only work once you've saved the changes. The media icon here offers many options for adding sound and video along with thumbnail images and subtitles. We explore adding media in a later video. The Atto editor allows you to drag and drop images directly onto the text box, something we look at in another video. And it automatically saves what you type, so if you have to leave it for a while or you accidentally go onto a different page or lose your connection, you don't have to start again. Two other useful icons are here. They help ensure your text is designed well to make it accessible for everyone on all devices, including people with restricted sight who use screen readers. If you really want to use different colours and different font styles and you know about design, you can change your editor, if your admin allows, by going to the user menu top right, clicking on Preferences, then Editor Preferences. Technical people might use plain text if they want to add code and Tiny MCE is an alternative editor which many people know from other online software such as blogging software. If we select it, you can see what it looks like. And again, the hamburger icon top left allows you to expand the toolbar for more options. However, Tiny MCE does not have the same features as Atto and for that reason we suggest you use Moodle's own editor, Atto.